Oh boy! Hamster Jam! Yeah, uh, also known as McCammy Time. Not to be confused with Ducky Time or Dinner Time, but definitely a jam nonetheless. Uh, hamster Jam, in fact. But, um, yeah, not to be confused with the, uh, the Hamster Dance, which is someone who did the second half of primary school in the early 2000s, is the kind of song that gets stuck in your head way too easily, but also you immediately recognize the melody as just a pitched up and filtered version of the intro music from Disney's Robin Hood. Anyway, Tulip Bobs and Hammy. Yeah, um, it's called Hamster Jam for a reason. And like with Whippet, uh, viewer discretion is advised. Also, timing is terrible. And hamster jam. Squish him. No, you didn't realize? You didn't realize I was going to squish him? Yes, that is what is happening. Except he's very perceptive. He is very perceptive. Hey, as far as I'm concerned, if the thing I'm wasting magic on, other than that kind of janky jump from the last level, is, you know, trying to get the timing of this right, I'll be fine. It's. It's the other stuff I don't want to deal with. Good gravy! I think I'm better grabbing the bottom of the rope because the higher up I am, then the more the rope is giving. There we go, that's much better. So if I wait for you to come all the way under and then boom. Yeah. You saw that correctly, ladies and gentlemen. He got squeeze. That's why it's called hamster jam. So now we're just gonna plant the tall pop in there and it's gonna grow. Oh, this game's energy is on a different level, my goodness. It's, um... Yeah. Yeah. Now this thing, this jump here, the bane of my existence. This is way more unnecessarily complicated than it deserves to be. And the main reason is this last part of the jump here. Doing this jump as the cat is very easy to muck up. You rebound from it so easily! Oh my goodness. Coming here with 46 magic is good, but, um... I can't rightly remember, but I feel like this jump was the cause of much unnecessary wasted magic in my original playthrough. And I like to leave this section with more than 40 magic, because, especially if I'm going sequentially, this, um... This is going to cause the problems. Eek. No! No, 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 no. If I can leave here with 40 magic, that is perfect. If I leave here with less, I'm not going to be happy. Come on. There. Cool beans. Eh. Yes! Yes, we did it! We're leaving here with 40 magic. I'm happy. Thank you very much. Hamster Jam is done. Good. Two levels left to go. And this is the last one that can randomly show up as your first level. Fireworks! Oh. Who's a pretty boy? He's not a pretty boy. I trust that text very solidly. Oh, stop your croaking at me. Okay, so the main thing we need to do is keep an eye on this Polly. And work out what they are plotting. Other than sitting parallel to us, very much like the, uh, the things that the frog was doing in the previous level. So that's gonna cause some pretty frustrating problems. So, before I go after Polly and try and go past them... Oh, fun. Fun, 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 fun. This is one I do not remember properly. Now, what am I dealing with here? Yes! Oh! It's called fireworks for a reason. It is called fireworks for a reason. So, are we ready, ladies and gentlemen? This is what we have just been given. A torch. Much like these ones over here. So we now have that at our disposal. And, uh, yeah. This is going to be quintessential for doing this bit, because no matter how hard we try, you are going to find that Polly is just going to be nothing but difficult. Because even if I come all the way down here... Polly doesn't come to the bottom of the rope, which means even if I get over the top and try and do what I did with the in Babunacy with all of those monkeys, not gonna work. We have no choice. 
You are not a pretty boy. You left me no choice, Polly. Thankfully, that kind of went the route of a Tarzan death and, you know, days of early Disney where we didn't actually witness the, uh, the Kentucky Fried nonsense. So, provided things go well from here, we just jump over that gap and we keep on going. Why? Why are you still here? I do not like you. Kitty cat, kitty cat. That rope is a red herring. Never trust it. Never trust it. We are going to the last level now with 29 magic. If you can come in with more, say like 32, 35, great. Time flies when you're having something resembling fun. I would hope so. Otherwise you must be cuckoo. So, this is going to put everything Imogen has to the test. We've got a path we can go left, we've got a path we can go right. We can't go left because we need that rock to come down so we can get to the left path. If we go right, there is an hourglass and the same kind of problem on the right hand side. There's a rock we have to drop. So, how do we do this? First things first, we climb up here. We go over to this rock, which I think we can do with the monkey. Yes. Change to Imogen, smack bang in the middle. Don't estimate, always use the rope as a reference. Hourglass, time flies, it's a pun. Well, that's not the whole pun. We haven't got to the flying part yet, but you know, that's where this comes in. So what we need to do next is find the cuckoo part of this equation. Click, 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 Five, six, seven, bubble. Now I can't remember if I can grab it as the cat, but I feel like I can. And of course, you get three cycles for every time you hit the pendulum. This is why it's pretty time sensitive, and the less you can change form unnecessarily, the better. Bubble. Gotcha! Right in the cat's mouth. Okay, that's good. Pendulum just ran out. So, next place to go is to put that cuckoo clock that was out of commission back into commission. What is the thing it is missing? Well, the little canary we just picked up. So, how do we actually go about reactivating that cuckoo clock? Easy. Smack bang in the middle. Imogen again. Cuckoo. Change back to the monkey. Now, we can't hit the pendulum with the cat because he can't get high enough, but if we go here... Delightful. Change back to the cat, jump over this, over that. Now. This bit is a bit annoying, because I think... Uh, yeah, getting the placement for this is a bit tricky. I know the right hand side is a little closer, but I don't know if I've still... Yeah, I don't think I've still got the jump on to get to it. So if I go like that... I'm going to try holding the jump button one more time, and if that doesn't work, I'm going to just try the other side. Now, okay, cool. So we got to go to the other side, and then that should be every piece of the crystal at our disposal. Look, we have a cuckoo chicken. Can't do anything with it. No, we can't even pick it up. Wow. Cool beans. That's it. That is it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have every crystal piece at our disposal. Which means the task set for us by the Green Wizard has come to pass. Imogen has learned empathy. He has freedom of choice. And here in front of the Jelly Baby Guard, he has been regranted his magic power. And I have been asked to get lost. <laughs> the sick of his nonsense and the sick of him killing things. Now, this is a bit of a problem area because if you come here with not enough magic, it is possible to not be able to find the right exit and be stuck. There are vantage points where you can and can't hit the exits. 
I always say, don't waste your magic. Find the exit that definitely extends outwards. Like that one, for instance. Now, whether they let us out is another question entirely. One of them might have the outside and that might not be it, but... There we go! We've escaped! At that moment, there came a deafening crack, and the mountain split and crumbled. A disheveled figure emerged from the rubble of the cavern. Oh, it's going on its own. Although generations had elapsed since the imprisonment of Imogen, his tale had passed into the legend, and the people knew at once it was he who had returned. And you can even see the dragon uh, skeleton there on the outskirts. All trace of the insanity had gone, and the spell of freedom, its purpose fulfilled, soared into the night sky, and became a comet as a symbol of remembrance. And there are the sheep that represent the ovine by design mascots. And with that, Imogen, once again, has been completed the way it truly deserved to be on my channel in the first place. That's another Let's Replay finished. This has been Saxdo26. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.